on a recent episode of Love and Hip Hop, April Jones and Fizz made their relationship public, and Omarion is still unbothered. Let's talk about it. Yo, what's up? I'm Jaded Nerd, and I wanted to talk to y'all about this situation with April Jones, Fizz, Omarion and all of that mess. In case you have not heard, April Jones and Fizz made their relationship public. They've decided to kind of stop hiding it. It was one of the worst kept secrets on Love and Hip Hop. So, you know, uh, April Jones. Yes. Will you Drew. be my girlfriend? <laughs> yes. I'm sure people will have their opinions about me trying to make this relationship official after the tour. But it is what it is, you know, timing is everything and I can care less what people have to say. Love is love. To me, no matter how much backlash I get, I just don't care. At the end of the day, man, the energy has always felt really genuine. I feel like I'm at home. Really? Mm -hmm. On top of all of that, you're beautiful. You're very intelligent. Are you footsieing me under the table? I mean, that was you. You was playing footsies Ooh, first, footsie. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm rubbing so... them pretty ass feet on my leg. You leaning in like you want something? Yeah, I do. I need to know what the lips really feel like. Oh, okay. The whole time that the rumor was going around, April and Fizz were maintaining that they were best friends. There's nothing romantic. It's not like that. People were giving them the side eye because it started really jumping off during the Millennium Tour. And we've all been following this whole saga between Omarion and April Jones. And he finally listened to his mother because she was right all along. The entire time that April and Fizz have been hooking up, fans have given them the side eye because it kind of jumped off during the Millennium Tour for B2K. And they already understand the history that Omarion has with April. She's the mother of his child. And the fact that Fizz kind of abandoned Monice, his own child, but we'll talk about that later. April has even come out and said that she's crediting Fizz for being there during a difficult time in her life. It was very tough. It was tumultuous. It was after she and Omarion had broken up and everything was what it was. Aside from hooking up, April has given Fizz credit for being there for her during a very difficult time in her life. After she and Omarion broke up and things like that and how everything played out on the show, she felt like she just needed support and he was there for her, a support system, a friend, someone to listen, you know, a shoulder to cry on there for her child. Like, and these are things that kind of make you really want to give her a sad eye because if you're thinking about that, Fizz could have been all of these things to Moniz when she needed him the most, but he wasn't there for her. Fans were giving Fizz even more side eye when they found out that he was being so supportive to April. Yet Moniz had to put him on blast on Instagram and let it be known that he has not been there for her, their child, or anything like that. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to read this post on Instagram, but the post goes like this. Damn, I was dying too because of Drew, 102 pounds, not sleeping, not eating, depressed, not drinking my life away but definitely drowning in tears out of desperate for the disrespect to stop. The restoration and healing of our co-parenting relationship to begin because Cam was, is paying the price behaviorally and emotionally. Confusion as to why the apologies for dogging me, then apologizing me, then flipping the script at the beginning of every season. And when I called two weeks ago because I was having a nervous breakdown, I had to call April to get a hold of him. When she put him on the phone and I said I was struggling and wasn't sure how I was going to make it through my week with Cam. When she put him on the phone and I said I was struggling and wasn't sure how I was going to make it through my week with Cam and asked for their help. He told me to figure it out, pull it together. It was my week. Call my parents and hung up. Called to say I was trying to check into an inpatient depression behavioral center. He said, great. Why are you calling? We have nothing to talk about and hung up in my face, then texted me and told me he doesn't care what happened to me. There's an earlier post from Moniz back in the summertime, and she was talking about the editing that the show was doing, trying to put the situation and scenario out there in one way when it was actually different. She was speaking about trying to co-parent with Fizz and what it was like to deal with April and the fact that they were cool. So I want y'all to check out this screenshot, and then I'll come back with the rest of my commentary.
it's easy to see why fans have been giving Fizz and April the side eye because if you want to sit there and be emotional support and be there for someone else's child, then that's your prerogative and nobody's going to hate on that. But when you decide to neglect your own and when you decide to forget about your own child because you're so focused on a new romance, a new relationship, trying to get back at a friend or something like that, it doesn't look good. It's not a good look. And that's one of the many reasons why they feel like Fizz is breaking bro code because he and Omarion are like friends. They were like brothers. They performed. They were in a group together. It's very shady that you want to hook up with someone who not only dated Omarion, but she's the mother of his child. Even Joe Button chimed in, and I want y'all to check out what he posted on his social media about the situation with Omarion and Fizz in April. Y'all check this out. So Joe goes on Twitter and he says, and I quote, Omarion doesn't get enough credit for just chilling because man, listen, dot, 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 end quote. When Joe Button put that out, a lot of us felt the exact same way. And I think people were glad to have somebody say it publicly and not be afraid of the backlash that might come from some people that's rocking the wrong way or whatever. And even with Omarion taking the high road and not saying anything negative or disparaging about either one of these two people, Fizz decides to clap back at Joe Button and and basically says that Joe Button is chasing clout. You can look at the situation another way and say that Fizz is chasing clout. If it weren't for Love and Hip Hop, and if it wasn't for this reunion tour with B2K and things like that, people would not be checking for Fizz. People wouldn't even be talking about who Fizz is, was, or anything. Out of all of the members, Omarion is the one that had the successful solo career. He branched out. He did his own thing. So for Fizz to try to jump into somebody's comment section and basically say that Joe is clout chasing, I just feel like that's very defensive. He's responding because he knows he's guilty and he knows that what he's doing is not right and it's not cool. It also does not help that April and Fizz are flaunting their new relationship all over social media, all on Instagram. You get what I'm saying? Check us out. All the Bay and Love pictures and all that. I got a couple of screenshots I'll throw up for y'all to check out or whatever, but it's interesting because you're looking at these two people and it's definitely convenient that they made this announcement, this revelation. It's part of their storyline on Love and Hip Hop. They don't really have anything else going on. I mean, I checked out her Instagram. She takes very pretty pictures, but when you've got a beautiful aesthetic but then you don't have anything of substance behind that, then that takes away from your aesthetic, my opinion. And Fizz ain't got no music out. What does Fizz have going on? There's no new music. There's nothing really going on. So a lot of fans are feeling like they're doing this because they want to get at Omarion. They want to get a reaction. They want him to say something, but he's unbothered. I've done enough rambling. Check out a couple of these screenshots that I've got of these two fools in love. And we'll come back with the rest of the commentary. I'm going to tell you how I feel about the situation. Personally, I feel like Fizz is wrong. I feel like Fizz knows the history that Omarion had with April. Everybody had an opportunity to watch it on Love and Hip Hop, and we've watched it play out. His mother and a lot of us were saying she was being wrong, and she was, she was hating, and this, that, and whatever. But everything his mother said... Bam, it's all coming to pass. Like his mother knew what she was talking about. And it's not to judge April. And it's not to judge the fact that April and Fizz want to get together and do what they do. The problem is that you had a relationship with Monice Fizz and you have a child with Monice. I find it funny that people like Lyrica and April want to clown Monice about her mental health and saying that she's, you know, crazy and she's off the rocker and all this, but they are doing some of the same things. They're guilty of the same behavior and you're looking at what April Jones is doing and you looked at some of her Instagram posts prior to this season of Love and Hip Hop and it looked like she lost her mind, smacking her cat, talking about her sexual conquests in a not so flattering manner. I'm wondering what you're going through, sis. It's not a good look. Even if you have issues with Monice on a personal level in terms of who she is as a person, she is still the mother of your child. And I find it sad that the two of you can't co-parent 
because you're too busy chasing after April and having fun and it's all love day and you're all on the gram and it's cool when you're hanging out with somebody else's kid and being a cool uncle dad or whatever you want to call it, but you got your own child who needs you and you don't know how this is going to play out as they get older. You don't know whether it's going to be something that they see these reruns, it goes into syndication, they get old enough to find your social media posts if you don't delete them or hide them. Their, their friends will tease them. People will talk about it. You get what I'm saying? So for you to sit there and be so sympathetic to one, but then you want to be an asshole to the other one, it's very disappointing. And it's very telling about your lack of character fizz. And this is something that a lot of people do when they get tired of a relationship or they feel trapped or for whatever reason, and they want to move on to something else. Everything that person does irritates them. Everything that person does is wrong. They find fault in everything. And the exact same qualities and the exact same things about that person that irritate them so greatly. The new person that they are so enamored with possesses these same qualities, but they're looking at it through a different lens. But I want to ask y'all a question and see what y'all think about this situation. Do you think Fizz violated bro code? Do you think it was wrong for him to step to his friend, his man's, his brother, whatever you want to call it? His, 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 the mother of that man's child. How do you feel about that? Or do you feel like it's fair game? Do you feel like, hey, it didn't work out in the previous relationships. You can't help who you fall in love with and who you have chemistry with. And if that's the case, it's fair game. Put everything in the comment section below. I want to say thank you very much for checking out the video. If you can, please throw a like on the video, subscribe and share. It's greatly appreciated. I'm Jaded Nerd. I'll talk to y'all next time.